Phylum Bryozoa, also known as Ectoprocta. Ectoprox, bryozoans, moss animals, or sea mats. Bryozoans are simple, minute aquatic animals found in both freshwater and marine environments, though they are most abundant in shallow waters. These aquatic invertebrates secrete a protective, chamber-like exoskeleton that houses their soft bodies. While a few bryozoan species are solitary, the majority form colonies. Colonies can encrust or create masses on various surfaces such as rocks, shells, vegetation, and artificial structures like piers. Colonies can take on diverse shapes, resembling fans, bushes, mosses, gelatinous blobs, sheets, strings, ropes, or even branching corals and vegetation. Although adult bryozoans are sessile, meaning they are fixed in place, their larvae are free-swimming. These larvae eventually settle on a surface and form colonies, which provide mutual benefits such as enhanced feeding efficiency and protection. An individual member of a bryozoan colony is called a zooid. Each zooid resides in a tiny chamber known as a zoecium. The zoecium is secreted by the zooid's epidermis. The zoecium can be gelatinous, chitinose, or stiffened with calcium. The zoecium shape varies across species and may be vase-like, oval, box-like, or tubular. Despite the microscopic size of individual zooids, bryozoan colonies can grow large, with some reaching over a meter in height or diameter. One of the most distinctive features of bryozoans is their lophophore, which is a crown of tentacles. The lophophore serves dual purposes, filter feeding and respiration. The lophophore surrounds the mouth, while the anus is positioned outside its base, a unique arrangement. Each tentacle is hollow, and when the lophophore is extended, the tentacles spread into a funnel shape. Tiny hair-like structures called cilia create a water current that flows from the tips of the tentacles to their bases, drawing in food particles. The lophophore ridge tends to be circular in marine species and horseshoe or U-shaped in freshwater species. Bryozoans can swiftly withdraw into their chambers for protection, often closing a tiny trapdoor called an operculum to shield themselves from predators or environmental threats. This jack-in-the-box existence and the ability to alternate between feeding and concealment highlights the remarkable adaptations of these tiny, yet highly specialized animals. Phylum Entoprocta Entoprox or Goblet Worms Entoprocta is a small phylum of about 150 species. These microscopic, stalked, aquatic animals are predominantly found in marine environments, with only two known species inhabiting freshwater. Freshwater species typically live on the underside of rocks in running water. While their marine relatives are commonly found attached to rocks, shells, algae, and underwater structures. Most adult goblet worms are colonial and sessile, forming clusters that stay fixed to a substrate. However, some species are solitary, living independently. These solitary species are exclusively marine and are often found attached to animals that feed by generating water currents, such as sponges, bryozoans, and sessile marine annelid worms. Interestingly, a few goblet worm species are fully mobile and can move by creeping or even somersaulting. The body structure of goblet worms is both simple and unique. Their cup-shaped body, known as the calyx, is topped with a crown of ciliated tentacles. This crown is used for feeding and respiration and is one of the defining features of the phylum. The calyx is supported by a stalk that anchors the animal to its substrate, often via an adhesive disc or multiple stalks. The characteristic goblet-like appearance of these animals inspired their common name, goblet worms. A notable feature of goblet worms is their ability to protect their feeding structures. 
The tentacles can roll inward to cover the mouth and anus, though they cannot be fully retracted into the calyx. Goblet worms feed in a manner similar to bryozoans but with key differences. Both use their crown of tentacles to filter food particles from the water, but the tentacles of goblet worms are solid, while those of bryozoans are hollow. Another critical distinction lies in the direction of the water current they create. Goblet worms generate an upstream water flow, drawing water from the bases of their tentacles toward the tips. Bryozoans, on the other hand, create a downstream flow, moving water from the tentacle tips to their bases. Additionally, while bryozoans possess a true lophophore, the crown of tentacles in goblet worms is not considered a true lophophore. The position of the anus also differentiates the two groups. In bryozoans, the anus is located outside the lophophore, whereas in goblet worms, both the mouth and anus are situated within the crown of tentacles. This concludes the video. For additional videos on biological resources, please go to my back bio page.